That's right, the bartender at the pub right across the street from the gas station watched it all out the window while we followed this through Sky Team 11. Now, the suspect pulled the stolen vehicle up to a gas pump here and tried to get gas mid chase, but he ended up pulling away with the gas pump handle and the hose still attached to the car, ultimately unsuccessfully evading police. Early Tuesday morning, Baltimore County Police responded to a reported stolen vehicle off Reisterstown Road in Pikesville. Their helicopter soon located the car in Baltimore City. So did Sky Team 11, Baltimore's only news helicopter. Police tried to stop a vehicle that was stolen. The Regional Auto Theft Task Force tried to stop the driver, and that's when the chase began. Police say a passenger hopped out of the car before the driver led police from Baltimore City to the county on the west side of the Beltway to Anne Arundel County, down by BWI, and eventually back onto the Beltway. All the while, the driver was caught on camera smashing into cars, clipping the back of a bus, and continuing to drive as pieces of the car fly off before stopping to get gas mid-chase in the Curtis Bay area. That um, is unbelievable to me. I, I can't imagine that you had the, had the whereabouts to think you're going to run out of gas and stop. Karen Fleshman was bartending inside AJ's pub right across the street. I heard a helicopter and we had about six or eight people in here. We're just kind of looking around. I caught out of the corner of my eye. There's a window window out that door. I saw a white car pulling out. The suspect didn't have enough time to fuel up and was seen driving off with the hose still in the vehicle. Authorities followed him into Pasadena back to the Beltway and then into Sparrows Point. That's where the suspect bails out of the vehicle. And less than a minute later, detectives with the regional auto theft unit catch him along Cold Mill Road. Items, including a gun, go flying in the air, and the suspect is then arrested. Detectives tell me the suspect will likely face some charges, of course, including possession of a firearm and auto theft. Live in Curtis Bay, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL-TV 11 News.